Hey everybody, Tony here from High Tech Check, uh, showing you five features you didn't know about the Nexus 6P running Android Marshmallow. Uh, the first thing I was going to show you, uh, I know uh, on Lollipop and KitKat, whenever you wanted to pull down the notifications, you simply took one finger and swipe down and it would bring down um, your notifications and your settings and everything like that, but <clears throat> on Marshmallow, uh, it doesn't do that. They've changed it. So if you take just one finger and swipe down, it only shows you notifications, but you don't get your quick settings on the top or anything like that. To do that again, you swipe down twice, uh, and then you get all your features and such. But with this, the way that you do this now is you want to bring down everything, get your quick settings and everything like that, you take two fingers, swipe down from the top, and then you get all your settings, which is a little different. Uh, second thing, uh, the fingerprint sensor. For me, I don't really care about security. Uh, I don't care if anybody, I'm not you know, worried about somebody picking up my phone and getting into it, but I do like to use the fingerprint sensor to turn on my phone without pressing the power button. So to get that um, without having to put in some sort of code or a password, um, you go into your settings, go into security, um, set automatically lock to the longest, which is 30 minutes. So that way, when the phone shuts off, um, it doesn't automatically go to the lock screen. It just comes right back to here. So when it's off like that, you can either press the fingerprint sensor on the back, which is super convenient, uh, or if it turns off um, and you don't have your finger there, um, when you hit the button on the side, turn it back on, it just goes to this. And it also allows you to, to use this fingerprint sensor. If you turn off security totally, you cannot use the fingerprint sensor for anything, which is kind of stupid. I like having that button on the back just to be able to turn on your phone, you know, as an extra button. Um, so that's that. Um, the fourth thing, actually the third thing I wanted to show you, um, there's that little nudge feature that they were talking about. Now, this feature you can't use with the screen on unlocked. It has to lock. So what I'm just going to say immediately. So the phone is locked now. It has that nudge feature. Now, what I found is uh, this particular thing that I do works 100% of the time. And it seems to only work 100% of the time when I do this. So say it's laying on your your uh, nightstand or something, and you just want to lean over and maybe check your time. All you do is lift it up to the left, and it'll show you your time and your notifications. Now, if you take this phone and turn it around to where you see the power the buttons, and you lift it, it doesn't do anything. I don't know why. So the nudge this feature to what you see, it doesn't make sense. Uh, to wake it, um, you have it laying like this with the buttons facing away from you. When you lift it up, it shows the time. So I thought that was a cool little feature. Uh, fourth thing. the um, In the settings here, got to use a fingerprint sensor. Okay. So go to your settings. Uh, see this little icon up here, the little settings icon? If you hold your finger on that for about five seconds, you'll see a little pop-up down here to say, the, uh, congrats, a uh, system UI tuner has been added to settings. And what that does is give you some little extra features. You can change all your quick settings. You can add and get rid of some of the, the quick settings that you don't want. And you can change your status bar items. And these are the things that will pop up at the very top. If you want to turn them off or turn them on. Say you, you, uh, you didn't want to see your little Wi-Fi icon up here. You'd 
uh, turn it off. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now the fifth thing uh, is pretty neat. I know I had a, an LG G3 before I got the uh, Nexus 6P and I loved double tap to wake. This phone does not have that right out of the box. You have to enable it uh, by putting in a, a code uh, into this thing called terminal. Uh, and the only way to do that is if you root your phone. So my phone is currently rooted right now. So if we go to go to terminal, all right, and I already have this uh, inputted in my phone. I'll go ahead and put this in the description down below so you can uh, co just copy and paste it if you want. But you go here, you type in su, enter, grant. Okay. So it's granted permission, and then you type in this and hit enter. And what it'll do it is it'll, it'll enable your phone to have the double tap to wake feature, which is amazing for me because if I like if I have this uh, laying on my desk right there, I don't want to pick it up and touch the the little security thing. Or if you just want to check your your uh, notifications, you don't have to lift it up, or if you don't have the fingerprint sensor enabled, you don't have to hit the power button, you can just double tap it to wait to look, uh, which is pretty neat. So I hope uh, you guys learned at least one thing um, from all the, the five things that I showed you in here, and if you did, great. Um, if there's a question you had, please uh, leave it in the comments below. Other than that, um, please rate and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys then later. Peace.